Hey guys, welcome to Garden Dreams and DIY Scheme. I wasn't gonna record today, but we started doing this. We're gonna put these pavers and we're trying to even evening them out. We're trying to do it with just sand, but that didn't work. So I went to Lowe's and I got these panels and we're gonna put these under and we'll show you how to do it. It's not that hard. That's why I wasn't gonna record it, but let's do it. So when I decided to start recording, we had already put the sand and we put a little too much. So now we're just trying to level it out and take some off. We didn't put anything under the sand as we have very deep pore draining soil containing silt, clay and caliche, making it very compact. We didn't have to add a bottom layer here. But if you have softer dirt in your area, I recommend that you get a thin layer of rocks and put it under the sand. And now that we got it level, if you have a hand tamper, go ahead and pack in that sand tight. After leveling sand with a quarter inch drop, lay down the paver base. And as you can see here, it's like a puzzle piece. Here against our wall, it's not exactly a 90 degree angle. So one side ended up being 13 inches and the other 14 inches. So he grabbed one of the paver bases, measured both sides with the measuring stick, marked it with the silver pin, and striked it with the blade and it doesn't take a lot of muscle they're pretty easy to cut then just lay that piece down and all your pavers are set just to let you know these panels are equivalent to four inches of compacted base and they don't absorb water so they don't heave and my husband likes to measure over and over and over again and also level over over and over again but i'm not complaining because our projects always end up looking perfect because he is so precise I had mentioned it before, but this is at a quarter inch drop so that when it rains, the water goes down and not in toward the cement block in the middle. And we like to go overboard sometimes, so we put a layer of landscaping fabric and I picked a gray color because my rocks are gray. And if I would have put a black one, you could see through and the black would show through from under the rocks. Then comes the hard part is laying down these pavers. Like I said before, they're two feet by two feet and two inches. So I think they're about 56 to 80 pounds of concrete. I'm not too sure. So I wouldn't be able to do this myself, to be honest with you. Thank God for my hubby. He's always such a good sport. And when I ask him to help me out with things, he always does. Whoa, kid, you're going to get your feet smushed. Quick tip, maybe you want to put a belt on so that you don't mess up your back. Try and lay these because they really are heavy. He makes it look a little simple, but it is not. Again, we're measuring. I had already laid pavers on the back, if you could see there. So I'm doing it the same length away from the cemented center there. But in your area, it will be different because only you know how far apart you want your pavers from each other. So you just measure accordingly. And one more paper to go and we're done here. Then I just got to fill it with rocks. We get our rocks from Job, J-O-B-E. I live in El Paso and they're a commercial and residential development supplier. We bought the sand and the rocks from there by the truckload. It's not too expensive and way more cost efficient and economical for us than purchasing bags of rocks or sand from the big box stores. I still love my big box stores though. That's where I did get these pavers from at a really good price. And yay, giving myself two thumbs up because we are almost done. All I'm doing now is filling it with rocks. I do it manually because some of the rocks are broken and I don't like those. So I was also washing them and as you can see here, they're drying up pretty fast. It was hot that day. Last step is the edging to keep the sand and rocks tucked in neatly and with a clean edge. But I just noticed the eight foot long piece I got is about one quarter inch too long. But first, he's going to remove the four stakes from the ends of the edging and then mark it where to cut. And if you don't have this oscillating multi-tool that he used to cut the metal edging, no worries. Just get a edging that fits your property and your project. Next step, grab the edging, a 2x4, and a mallet, and start banging that down. Remember I told you we had really hard dirt? Well, fortunately for us, it had rained the night before, so it was pretty easy to bang down. And of course, we ran into another hiccup. We have plastic edging on the grass area, 
and that was in the way of the metal edging going down so he had to go get his oscillating tool again and cut a little piece of plastic off. Once you have the edging where you want, drive down those stakes to secure the edging with the mallet and the 2x4. I'm a little nitpicky so I like to do this by hand because not all the rocks are smooth so I take out the ones that have jagged edges. And I had some excess sand, remember I told you at the beginning that I had put way too much? So I'm just removing that and cleaning this up. And we're gonna be good to go, we're so excited! This is the final product, I hope you like it, I hope you did it in your own yard. Enjoy, take a seat, take a breather, somebody bring me a margarita or something. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thanks for watching!